everyone in this video we are going to see how to install mongodb using docker on both windows and mac the overall procedure is going to be very similar for both operating system and this tutorial that you can see here the document has been uploaded on canvas so you can check that and follow along i'm going to use a mac for this installation and you should be able to use a similar command for windows as well the first step before we can install mongodb we need to install docker first so you click this link based on your operating system and click whether you have an intel chip or mac and it will download this docker.dmg which i have already downloaded then you can follow this so you have to install Rosetta first and then just double click on the Docker app and it will install Docker on your computer. The next thing to do is go ahead and open Docker. So you should see Docker here. It may take some time and it's all right. So when the Docker is being installed, the purpose for this procedure is to have more control on your MongoDB installation. Because if you use Docker, you have uh, more control on the type of ports that are being used for mongodb on the networking side etc now we have docker working here and if you check containers you see i already have some mongodb containers from before so i'm going to delete them actually and i can delete all of them now let's go ahead and uh, try this getting started tutorial so I open my terminal and you can try this. So what is being done is we just got our first container. When you see pull here, it means that it's pulling some images from the internet. And we do see that the getting started uh, image is already here. We can try running this. We can now we have two of these instances running. Anyway, so this means that the Docker is working right now and we can move ahead to the next step. So let's go back to the tutorial and we have to get MongoDB container next. So click here and this will allow you to get the latest image from MongoDB. So this is the command we need docker pull mongo you can just copy this and go back to your terminal and we are pulling the latest docker image the next command to run is also should be available here if you go down so this is what we need docker run name some mongo and then tag so we can use that and you can change this some mongo to something else if you want but that's all right so we have the image pulled now what we are going to do is we start that image so for tag we actually need latest so docker run name mongo let's actually rename this here mongodb 
and then D Mongo latest. So we got the latest version now. The next thing to do is Docker execute and then the name that we just gave so docker exec it mongodb and then bash what we just got is the root access to this mongodb container so this is basically we can do everything that we could in a linux os so we are inside the docker container now so you can see the directories we have we can also see the current location within the directory and we, you can basically do everything that you can do in a unix os anyway so this means that we are we got mongodb installed within docker and the next step is to explore the docker uh, based mongo functionalities so we're going to see that in the next video thank you